Hi, in this video, I will continue to create forms. Let's look at our project plan. Now I will create FD duty table. Uh, let's start quickly. I am adding new item. The interface form and First, I need to add data source and drag and drop and it's still okay. Now, uh, I will use also simple list pattern here. Uh, let's copy from another uh, form. I copy it and delete this one. And of course, we need to change data source. Okay. Let's look this one. Okay. Now let's add fields. I'm selecting all, but I don't need these one. Okay. Let's arrange a little bit. Uh, for example, create slide and this one can be down. Uh, by the way, it's not a uh, best practice to add all fields to grid. Uh, but uh, for this form, I want to show you. Uh, normally, uh, I uh, put um, a summary field to uh, grids and uh, all field to other uh, section, other top, the best practice. But for this uh, demo, this training, I will uh, add all uh, fields to uh, grids. And this one is more important. And this is status. Uh, we don't need that area ID. Description. Yeah. Yes, uh, it's, it's, it's enough. Uh, let's give caption. And post title to the source. And it's it's okay, but it's not enough. I want to show uh, more uh, info here. For example, we have uh, project ID here and cost account, uh, but these are IDs and uh, it's not uh, uh, showing the uh, names of uh, customer or project. Probably. Uh, they will ask you to add uh, uh, project name uh, or customer name to this grid. Uh, there, there are two ways to do that. First is display method. Second is adding uh, data source and joining this data source to duty table and show this uh, customer name field to uh, from grid, but it's, a, it's not an easy way because uh, names are not in uh, the main tables. You need to join more, more than one table for just showing a name field. If they don't want to filter 
uh, this field, uh, you, you, you can use display methods, uh, but be careful, display methods in grid uh, sometimes can be tricky. They can slow down uh, the form and it's not a good uh, practice to use more and complex display uh, methods in grid. But uh, for this uh, for this uh, form, there will be uh, not millions of records, so it's not that important, and the display methods will be not complicated. So uh, let's create two display methods: first, customer name; second, project name display methods, and add to grid. Uh, we can write uh, these methods uh, different places, uh, but the best practice is write these display methods to uh, related table. So the related table here, uh, duty table. Let's open the duty table and create two new methods. Okay. Starts with display and name. Method name is task name. Charm. This is not the cost account. We have uh, this one because we are on the table methods. And if I use this, it means the uh, record, selected record. Uh, so I can use task table find methods and use name it. Okay. Ready. Let's copy and create another one. This is not a method. So, uh, process table has a field called uh, name. So, it's different from cost table, but it's ready. Now, uh, as you can see, it's very simple. I, I used find methods. Find methods are very common uh, methods. Uh, find the records, related records, project ID related course from project table or cost table and we will write find methods to our table too in later but right now it's enough for us to uh, write these two methods let's return our uh, not activity type duty table form and these duty table forms can add new methods or fields here, and we can select uh, new. Uh, we can select our uh, our methods. So we need to add uh, a string uh, object here because our uh, methods return type uh, are string, so I need to add a string control, and I need to select, of course, data source and 
of course, data method. Uh, let's change the name of this control to this one. Okay. Now let's update this one and select for name. Now let's put the proper space. Okay. Now our form is ready, almost ready. We will write more code for this form, some validation, some status change uh, methods. Uh, but first, let's uh, put some uh, data for uh, these forms and uh, see how it works. Um, before, uh, before opening this form, I will rebuild and synchronize my project. When I rebuild my project, it says you need to add a contact person reference to your uh, package. Um, let's update our model. I am not sure what is the problem. I will check again. Okay, I restart my Visual Studio and it's uh, working okay. I think this was a, a cache problem. Sometimes you need to restart your Visual Studio and uh, some errors go, go run away. So now uh, we are ready to put some code here. Uh, let's uh, start with, uh, for example, uh, activity type. You, I am setting as a startup object here, and I am starting to this project. Okay, my form uh, is open, and you, you can see these are the data we entered uh, from table browser. Uh, now we can add more fields or delete this one, etc. As you can see, it's working. It's not uh, best practice or easy way to open all from uh, all forms like this. So I will not continue to open like this. I will. Uh, make a menu for this activity management and i will open all forms uh, from menu um, but uh, it's now enough for this video because i don't want to shoot long videos and uh, i will continue to uh, add uh, some codes to our duty table uh, in next videos and I will create a menu and menu items for this uh, project. I hope I hope it helps. Happy ducksing.